it looks like my drain field isn't leaching into the ground properly. I have this big dry spot here when the rest of the drain field is lush and green year round. And in some spots it's bubbling up all the time. Last year I opened up the ends of the lines down here and blew them all out. So I know they're not completely clogged, but at least it is in one area. So I'm gonna dig it up and see what's going on. I dug up about a six foot portion of this dry area and I found the, one of the holes that's clogged. There is a bunch of tree roots in here as I suspected there would be from the trees nearby. And I have the plans for the septic system so I know how far the holes are spaced out. So I'm gonna measure from this hole to find the other ones to make this go a little quicker. At some point I'll turn the pump back on and see if the water comes out of this hole now. But that's gonna be a while because as I was digging this up, I managed to puncture the pipe. So I'm gonna at least have to replace a section of this pipe. So I found the next hole and there is tree roots in this one clogging this one up. That's all it was. Was this little root here. Yep, so there's water running out of it now. I just dug up another hole and it was clogged with roots again. The holes are 532nd, um, but it doesn't take much to clog them up. Once I was able to get a hold of the root, I pulled this little tiny root out of the hole and it was growing down the pipe. When you're digging this up, it's important to keep the different types of soil separate. On the left, I have the better soil that was on top and then on the right, I have the soil with all the aggregates for better drainage. So now I gotta replace this section that I put a hole in. I'll be using Christie's primer and glue. A lot of people do a lot of different things, a lot of different methods here, but I just go by the instructions. It says right in the instructions, apply the glue while the primer is still wet. Make sure you give it a little twist before you hold and let it set. For this, the instructions it says 30 seconds to set. Luckily I had some of this Schedule 40 pipe laying around left over from another project. Make sure any residual water is out of there. So it's dripping a little bit and clean up any excess glue. Some of that glue kind of build up in there and it won't let me slide my pipe in there and always do a dry fit.
I got six holes dug up that were clogged with tree roots and got them cleared out. And I'm gonna wait till tomorrow for the glue on that repair to set up before I turn the pump back on to make sure everything's working right. Today I'm gonna to turn on the pump and make sure that these holes are unclogged and that my repair holds. Looks like they're all working. And looks like my repair held. I'm gonna use this cloth that I have left over from another project to wrap around the holes so the dirt and everything doesn't get in the holes and clog it up again and to keep roots out. Next you want to make sure that you backfill with the gravel first before you start putting dirt back on top. The best solution to ensure the roots don't grow back. <laughs> 